What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install Stoneblock onto your client and onto your Apex panel. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Vanilla Minecraft can be pretty fun on its own, but sometimes it leaves you wanting more. I mean, you can really only mine Lapis Lazuli so many times. Eventually, the challenge just kind of fades away and you feel maybe a little empty inside. Well, introducing Stoneblock. This is a mod pack that completely changes the game and today we're going over how to install it. But before we get into it today, the first thing you gotta know is that you can find any links that you may need related to this video in the description, whether that be the Forge download or other useful links that you may find. To install it on your server, you'll first need to head to your Apex panel and stop your server with the red stop button. Once it's stopped, you're going to scroll down to where you see the jar file selection field, and you're going to click the drop down bar where you can type in stone block. One of the first options that should appear is CurseForge stone block, and you're going to go ahead and select that. When the pop-up appears, you'll select change version, then you'll select create new world, and usually you would click restart now in the third pop-up, but you're gonna hit restart later and I'll show you why in a second. So from here, we're going to go ahead and enable the void world, which is necessary for stone block. So go to the left-hand side and select config files. From here, you're going to select server settings, which is the first option at the top of this new page. Then scroll down to where you see the level type and it should be set to default because that is the default setting. But what you're going to switch it to is type in the word void world as one word, all lowercase. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down the page to where you see the green save button. And you're going to select that. A new pop-up will appear once again. You're gonna select create a new world. Then you'll select restart now instead of restart later. And once the restart process is done, you'll see config file saved. Then you'll just have to wait for your server to boot back up and then you'll be good to go. To install it on your client, you'll first need to type in download.curseforge.com into whatever browser you're using. From here, on this page, you should see download for Windows or download for Mac OS. Select that for whichever version you're running and run the installation process. Once you're done with that, you'll get to this page and what you can do from here is in your Minecraft tab, look in the search for mod packs, Stoneblock. The first thing that should appear should be Stoneblock and from here, you can just go ahead and on the right hand side, click the orange install button. The process may take quite a bit because once again, this is an absolutely massive mod pack with over 200 mods in this mod pack alone. So especially if your computer is not up to enough, then you might have some trouble. But once it's done installing, you can go to the my mod packs tab and you can see any of the downloaded mod packs that you may have. You can select the icon for stone block and here you can see the overview as well as again, the installed mods. Once again, there's a massive list of all the mods, and once you're done looking at that, you can go ahead and click the orange play button on the right hand side to get started. Now let's talk about the mod pack. The first thing is you have your quest book in many mod packs like this. Do not lose this because this is your guide to all things this mod pack. But since you're watching Apex's video on this, why don't we show you what to do? First, let's gather some stone pebbles and all you do is punch stone. It's kind of like wood, but not really. Anyway, once you've got a certain amount, you'll see that you've completed a quest for gathering the stone pebbles. And from here, you're going to put this in your crafting table and create cobblestone. Now, you might be wondering, what do you do with this cobblestone? Well, you create a stone crafting table. It's basically just a retextured crafting table that you create just like any other crafting table in Minecraft. Once that's done, you'll see another quest complete sign, and you can see it's a crafting table with a little bit of extra fun stuff. From here, we want to make a stone rod, which is basically just sticks, but with cobblestone. So make sure you have enough for two stone rods and two additional pieces because we'll be making the stone hammer. The stone hammer is probably the most essential early game stone block item. This is what you're going to use to basically mine out anything that you need, as well as what we'll show in a minute, changing different types of 
items. But let's make a stone crook real quick, which is basically just looking like a cane. And we'll show what that does in a little bit. Once you've gathered enough cobblestone, you're actually going to need to get quite a bit more. And so, like I mentioned, the stone hammer is unique in the ability to create stuff from stone to then cobblestone to then gravel, then dirt, then sand, and finally dust. What I mean by the unique ability is that every time you mine it with the stone hammer, it'll change into that sequence of blocks. It's very cool. Anyway, once you have 10 dirt, you're going to go ahead and place those down in whatever way you want, and you're going to use the stone crook on the dirt to get saplings. Now, these saplings, you may be wondering, how are you supposed to even grow these underground? Well, the way to do it is actually fairly simple. You're just going to go ahead and place it down, and you're going to kind of shift spam, and that'll get things working. Now, it did take me a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and spawn in some extra wood for myself. But the next step would be getting 16 pieces of wood from those trees that you've created. And then you can start making different chests, other sticks, things of the nature in vanilla Minecraft, more or less. But beyond that, it's really your game. From here, you can go ahead and do whatever you want, as long as you're just checking out the quest book. The quest book, once again, is your friend in this. and you can see in the quest lines that there are a number of things to do, as well as in the completed ones, get loot boxes. Now let's cover a common issue. The main one is that the server can sometimes get stuck loading. If that's the case, with mod packs like this, all you have to do is go into your console and type slash FML confirm. And once a couple of things run on our end, the server should start up again, no problem. As you can see, this mod pack seems kind of basic, but once you open up the NEI items, you can see there are 450 different items to check through, whether that be building blocks or items for mining or things of that nature. Well, that'll just about do it for this one, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.